7.50 at KNEV, 9.60 a.m. and 100.3 FM. Time for today's News Extra. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Dr. Nat Johnson is here from the WNCC Instrumental Music Program. And we're going to talk about a uh, very valley Christmas coming up over at uh, the college. How you doing? I'm well. Thank you very much. Okay. Lovely day. Yeah, it is. It really is. All right, you guys, uh, let's let's kind of talk about the history of this particular Christmas program, which started out as uh, basically you guys doing a Christmas program, the instrumental music department, but now it involves the entire performing arts department up at the college, right? Right. There uh, was a history quite a few years ago of the vocal department and the theater department collaborating for um, a Christmas performance. It would be Christmas music interspersed between scenes of A Christmas Carol. And we had a new speech teacher, um, five, about probably six, seven years ago, who, uh, her name was Danae, and she asked me uh, if I would be interested in collaborating with her on a Christmas program. I said, sure. So we had uh, Christmas music and interspersed uh, in there were, were uh, speech presentations, holiday themed. And that went really well. The audience really enjoyed that. That went for two years, and then uh, Danae moved on to other things. And but we still had this this Christmas performance. I said, well, we ought to keep doing it. And so it was just instrumental music, and I got a couple of vocal soloists. But it was pretty much a band thing. And then uh, last year we got a new choir director, and he and I were very interested in collaborating on it. And it went very well. That's uh, Dr. M. Gu Kang, who is our new uh, director of choral music. And that went very well. We had one night only last year, and it was standing room only. So we decided to do it two nights this year. And also our new uh, our new theater arts director, who uh, started last year as well, Robbie Thompson, um, he was interested in also collaborating on this year's program. I said absolutely. So it will be truly a gift to the community from the entire performing arts program. And this is going to be uh, December first and second, which uh, is coming up here real quick Thursday and Friday nights, right? Correct. Thursday and Friday nights, seven o'clock. It's free. It's at our little theater. And uh, there will be some refreshments afterwards. So, yeah, y'all come. Y'all come. That's right. All right. So uh, this this is pretty cool because uh, Christmas theme, of course, and uh, some of the holiday favorites you guys are going to do. Do you? Oh, sure. Um, we it's funny we try to limit our Christmas medleys where you put a bunch of Christmas songs uh, together because then you find yourselves doing all the same songs just in a different order in yeah. all the medleys so most of it is standalone stuff there's some historical stuff um, I don't know a whole lot about what the choir is doing which for me is a great thing because I get to be surprised and it's because I don't have to rehearse everything there yeah. are other people involved yeah. I don't know a lot about what they're doing what I've heard through my office door is good um, but uh, the band's doing some some great stuff. Jazz band is, is kicking off the program. Uh, the the concert band is last, and then the choir comes on with the concert band, and we do a couple of combined numbers, including the Hallelujah chorus, which we started the tradition last year, which will continue. Of it'll be sing along, so y'all y'all come on up stage, and and uh, you get to sing along with the band and the choir. Well, that's cool. Yep, that's that's real nice. And then of course you have the theater department. Uh, are they kind of in the middle? Is that where, where they're... they're... I, I think they're towards the end, if I remember correctly. Uh, they're doing about a 10-minute... Um, it, it's, an, it's an actual short play on the importance of you know, remembering not the commercialism, but but you know the important parts of the season. Yeah, what the holiday is really all about, right? Mm -hmm, right. Okay, very good. And like you say, refreshments are offered after the show. Uh, this is 7 o'clock, uh, December 1st and 2nd. Up at the Scotts Bluff campus. We'll talk more about it right after this. Meet Nebraska public school teachers Katie Lockrist and Allison Greenwood. I get really emotional talking about public schools. I just think it's one of the most beautiful missions I could be a part of. I teach because kids are cool and I get to wake up every morning knowing that I get to go and hang out with the coolest people on the earth. Nebraska public school teachers giving every student the opportunity to learn and succeed. Sponsored by the Nebraska State Education Association. Aired in cooperation with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. We're back on News Extra on this Monday morning. We have Dr. Nat Johnson here. He's the instrumental music director up at WNCC. And they are collaborating with the uh, vocal music department and the theater arts department up at the college. 
to uh, present a very valley Christmas coming up December 1st and 2nd. 7 o'clock up at the WNCC Little Theater. That's Thursday and Friday night. Like you said, you did this last year uh, without the theater department, and it was packed. Correct. So uh, you should be packed again for uh, two nights here. Hoping so. Yeah, it's a Thursday, Friday rather than, you know, a Saturday or something like that, which may make it easier for people to come out on Saturdays. But my other career is uh, Saturday and Sunday of this week, my my military stuff. So we have to put it on Thursday and Friday. Okay, very good. Uh, You guys got to be excited about what's going on at the college with uh, the performing arts area and all the things that are going on. Talk about that a little bit. Well, we've had some very generous donors, and uh, in fact, there is a reception for them prior to these concerts, and we're going to have some music there as well. Um, We, as I understand that, are starting demolition in May and going to be renovating the entire theater wing and expanding it. We'll have a new entry area, a new lobby area, and there will be separate choir and band rooms. Uh, which will be great for Dr. Kang and myself because we get along great, but we're always tripping over each other's stuff and each other's students so we can have more control over our own spaces. That'll be awesome. Um, the theater will be uh, very much renovated. Uh, they'll change the, th- the uh, seating area so that it's a little bit more of a traditional um, space rather than theater almost in the round, which is what we have now. And it'll be a uh, new lighting system, new sound system. It's really going to be wonderful. Yeah, it is. It's going to be uh, fantastic. And uh, like you said, demolition gets started in, started in May. And then, That's what I've heard. And, uh, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take. Probably, uh, probably more than just a few months. Right? Oh, right. Uh, I think probably the building process is going to be i know scott's bluffs is a year and a half they're just now coming to the end of theirs right so it'll probably be um a year it'll be probably more than 2018 before you guys are really into it i would think so yes yeah but uh you got to be looking forward to that it should be awesome a lot of people have donated and we uh, appreciate everybody that's donated to the wncc yeah no question capital campaign and uh helping you guys out and that was that was really the number one need up there, really. I mean, you guys, the, the, as far as the space, you're right. It was like everybody was kind of sharing, and it had to be crowded. Right, yeah. Certainly, from my perspective, it's the number one need. Uh, other faculty may feel otherwise. <laughs> they want their classroom first. But, uh, yeah, it, it's our turn, and, and uh, looking forward to some good stuff. All right, very good. Once again, a very valley Christmas coming up the 1st and the 2nd, Thursday and Friday nights. 7 p.m. You can hear not only the instrumental instrumental music department, but the vocal music department and the theater arts uh, also has a little play going on. So you get uh, all three departments. Should be a lot of fun on Thursday and Friday night. So, I think so, yes. So uh, good luck with it. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, good luck with all the construction next week. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. All right. Dr. Nat Johnson, instrumental music director up at WNCC.